What's going on YouTube? I am Jeremy Alexander and in this Construct 2 tutorial, I am going to show you what I've been up to in Intel XDK. Intel XDK is this amazingly free tool that lets you export Construct 2 or just Cordova projects in general, which means HTML5, HTML5 projects in general to any operating system, Windows, iOS, or Android. It's really awesome and it's all free. All you have to do is sign up on Intel XDK it's totally worth it. So you do have to have the personal edition of Construct 2 to actually export to Cordova, but if you are serious about mobile development, that shouldn't be a big issue here. So what I did for my course is if we refresh this real fast and we reload this, you can see on this iPhone 6 here, my game will load up. It's really not much of a game. And in the course, I'm going to show you exactly how we set this up. But what I do want to show you really, really quickly is Instead of showing it to you on my phone exactly, we have the accelerometer here, and I'm about to die here, so let me just kind of kill myself a little bit. There we go. Uh, if we turn the accelerometer here, we're going to actually activate our movement controls, which is super cool, and we do have that one thing of sound when we bump into spikes, which is kind of annoying at the moment. Okay, there we go. So here we go. We'll just stay on this screen. So we have our accelerometer, and I just find it so cool that Intel XDK has such a nice accelerometer to use. And we're using the left and right or the gamma controls in the touch object in Construct 2. And I just want to show you exactly how we set that up. Obviously, you could do something similar. You can go front and back as well if we had set that up. Or you could point this around like a compass. So let's go to Construct 2. And you can see right here that I have the touch object in my project. So let's go to level one layout. I have the touch object added to this project. And when we touch, and if we go back, we need to compare the orientation. So you go into orientation and motion, compare orientation. Now this gamma option right here really just means the left to right tilt. And that's cool because when you have your mobile device in your hand and you're really moving left and right, it's actually going to use your device's accelerometer to do that. So that's really cool. Or we could use our beta which is our front to back tilt, or our alpha, which is our compass direction. So this is totally cool. All we're doing is setting our angle or our orientation less than negative eight. This really could be any number in between uh, zero and negative 10 or something like that. It's not going to make that big of a difference, but this is going to be enough of an angle for it to detect. And then you can actually see something move. So it's very self-explanatory. We're just adding that new event for our touch control of compare orientation gamma less than negative eight, then we're going to simulate our player moving to the left. And obviously the inverse of that is if it's greater than eight, we're gonna simulate it moving to the right. So it's really cool. And then when you actually do actually go to test and push this to your local test server, plug in your phone and see how cool this works. And actually you can do it over Wi-Fi as well. Then you can just see how cool it is. Obviously this is kind of hard to control and hit the jump button at the same time and listen to that horrible sound. I'm going to stop that. So that is that for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I do hope you like it. I have a Construct 2 mobile course coming out very, very soon, which goes over all of Intel XDK and mostly goes over exporting the game and making a very simple game. This game isn't really that much, but it's enough to get you going and confident to build with uh, Crosswalk for Android. And you can build with Windows 8 for free. Obviously, for iOS, I cannot build on a Windows and also you need the $99 certification fee that you have to pay to do that. But everything here is so simple and I go over all of it in my course that is coming out soon. So check out that. But if you did like this video and you want to see more Construct 2 stuff, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below to tell me what you want to see. Maybe you want to see a featured course on YouTube or maybe you want to see just some cool things, me playing games. I don't know what you want to see, but let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.